Hello and good morning. So we're just at Ljubljana bus station waiting for the bus. It's an early start today, it's only like 7 a.m. at the moment and obviously we went out last night so we're a little bit tired. Heading to the coast today so we're looking forward to that. It should be nice. I can't but, wait to chill out. <laughs> yeah, but we're a bit sad to be leaving Bled behind because it's just been so nice but onwards and upwards as they say. So we're back at Ljubljana train station. That was like the cheapest bus journey we've ever had. It was one Euro 60 for like an hour's 10 journey. So I couldn't recommend enough getting the bus from Ljubljana to Bled or vice versa because the train takes a lot longer than that. But also if you get the bus, you can literally get the bus from the center of, of Bled and not have to walk half an hour to the train station or longer. So definitely recommend it. Even if the bus driver was a bit of a moody person, to say the least. <laughs> so we've arrived in Piran. It's taken a bit longer than we were expecting, but it's kind of a good thing because we can only check into the Airbnb at two o'clock. So we're gonna head into the town and find where we can check in, maybe get some food because we're quite hungry. So this is our Airbnb, it's all very nice, nice little uh, holiday apartment pretty much. So for the last six hours or so we've just been taking it easy, we've had a busy few days so we've been heading out now to get some food, have a bit of a look around here around. The Airbnb location couldn't get any better. It's literally a two minute walk from the main square. We're just heading now around to see the sunset because it looks pretty beautiful from where we are right now. Just looked into the water and we've seen what we presume is jellyfish. They're like tiny though, I mean, doesn't make it look very inviting at the moment. Hopefully, further around, it's not like this. So we haven't got a kitchen here, so it's cheap eats for this weekend. We've gone for chicken burger, although it's more like a chicken sandwich. I don't even know what it is. Absolutely massive, but I need it, so it's good. Just heading back to the room now, we're in desperate need of a drink, so... We just sat like in the main square and there was a like, live free music on. So yeah, we'll it's really nice. Really See you in the morning for a day of exploring. Hello and good morning. Morning. So this is our full day in Piran. We're going to go around all the best places to see. First we're going to head to the bell tower around the main square and just going to have a slow walk around in general, go to the beach a bit later on, go for a mm -hmm. swim and take it quite easy I think. So These little back streets that we're walking around are so cute. Yeah, the tiny little cobbled streets, really nice. Yeah. some of the architecture here in Piran and wonder why does it look so Italian? Well between 1293 and 1797 it was actually part of the Venetian Republic and then after that it just changed hands between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and Italy until it actually became part of Yugoslavia in 1950. So this church in front of me, St George's Church, is actually modelled on St Mark's Cathedral in Venice, so the Venetians obviously brought a bit of Venetian style to Piran with them. You can actually climb up the bell tower here, which is only 140 steps and it costs like two euros each, but I think the view here is good enough for me. And we forgot to bring money with us, we only have card and a lot of Slovenia so far has been cash only. The good thing about this town, as it's quite a small town, is you're never too far from the sea. So we're going to head down to the beach now. So we got a bit hungry, so we came to a bakery here in Piran, and we've got probably the biggest piece of bread we've ever seen. This will probably last us for 
a week. A week, maybe. Yeah, but we're very hungry. And we've also got a traditional Slovenian cake. I can't remember what it was called, but it said it's got poppy seeds, cottage cheese. And apple. And apple. So we asked the guy quite in nice. the bakery what he recommended and he said if, you, if it's your first time in Slovenia, you should try this. So we're having some of this traditional Slovenian cake now. It's called Gibankia, so... Yeah, we'll see what it's like. It doesn't look the best. I think it's been sat for a while. But not the worst cake I've had, but it's definitely not the best. Not great. Mm. Four out of ten. And we made it back out now. We've had a bit of a chill out. I'm not sure if we're a bit ill, or if we're just a bit exhausted from yeah. late bled, but we're heading now to the city walls, which is only like an eight minute walk. So it's not too far at all, but it should be a really nice panoramic view of the city. It is a little bit steep, but not too far away. It's open till nine o'clock at night, so you could come up and watch the sunset here. So it costs three euros per adult, two euros if you're a student. So just heading up a few extra stairs now. Bit of a low beam. <laughs> Don't think you'd fit through there if you were over six foot something. I feel like the king of the castle. Shelley's definitely the dirty rascal. Pretty good value for three euros. The views are beautiful. It's very narrow in certain places. Look at this. It's not very ergonomic for guards who are patrolling these city walls. Take you ages to get down to in an in emergency. I a little small. <laughs> yeah, little small guards. Every watchtower that you come up, you like. No, this is definitely the best view of the town. But I think this one is the best view of the town, so... I think that Slovenia was going to be this beautiful. Because I didn't... Like, I just didn't really have any expectations. I think any expectations I did have have been blown out of the water, to be yeah. honest. Like, it's literally had, like, the nice... One of the nicest cities, the nicest lakes, and now, like, a really, really pretty, like, seaside town. Is it Slovenia? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Definitely found the best view from the stands. Wouldn't mind getting a season to keep them up here. You'll be fine. No, I'm scared of coming back down. I don't know if they're up to date structural standards, but you should be fine. And look at the, how these are actually put together. I'm not sure um, exactly how sort of Slovenian health and safety laws are. Especially not medieval ones. <laughs> So we're just going to follow the city walls back down to the main part of the town. So we came to the beach and Shelley saw a vending machine and thought she'd get a hot chocolate. It's only 60 cents, so... It's less than 30 degrees today, so it's acceptable to have a hot chocolate, I think. Just heading back to the Airbnb now, just gonna have a stroll along the uh, seafront. Nice really little walk. Nice, like chilling out in the shade, having a bit of a swim. It's a really nice day. Although the sea is actually really wavy here. Yeah, it's quite choppy. It's not the most relaxing water to swim in, but nice and refreshing when you're in there. So we're just heading on out now to get some food, and I'm wearing probably the smartest outfit I've worn in probably nearly two months. So. <laughs> It's a bit creased, as you can imagine, as we're backpackers. But we hair dried it, <laughs> so, so it's a little bit better. Yeah. Dressed for the occasion today, but we're still only having three peaks. So I'm going for the same as yesterday. Chicken burger, Shelly's done for a chicken wrap. Living life. So we're just heading around to the sea for the sunset now. If you're ever in Slovenia though, make sure you get one of these. Sola. Honestly, so nice. Cranberry iced tea flavour. The sunsets here are just insane. Good morning. Morning. So, we're just on the way to the bus station to get a bus to Strungen National Park. It's only like a 20 minute bus journey away, so relatively close but it's going to be really beautiful. It's meant to have one of the nicest beaches in Slovenia called Moon Bay. Yes, 
So we're going to go see what it looks like. You can actually walk to the Strunyan Nature Reserve from Piran and it only takes like 55 minutes but we thought because we haven't got too long we'll just get the bus. From our experiences the buses here are really cheap. They're only 160 per person one way so it's a no-brainer if you don't want to do too much walking. So all of these pools around us are salt pans. Back in Venetian times, it was actually a really expensive commodity, which we used Piran as the port to export it. But now it's more of like a protected area, so there's a lot of wildlife that they get here as well. So we're just heading towards Moon Bay. It was about a 20 to 25 minute walk from the bus stop, according to Google Maps. It's quite a nice walk though, it's not very shaded, but it is only early at the moment, so it's not too hot. If you don't have Google Maps or if your phone's died or whatever, it's no real bother because there's signposts absolutely everywhere telling you the direction you need to head in, which is yeah. pretty good. And the cute signs as well. Cute signs? Yeah. Oh, man, it's to the top of the hill. It looks really beautiful from up here. I can't wait to get down now. Go for a nice swim. So far, we've seen a lot of small lizards, yeah, so... Snakes, look. Like snakes here. We're trying to make as much noise as possible so we scare away any potential snakes. Stomping our feet. We spent about an hour here but we're quite conscious of time so we're going to head back onto the path and follow it a bit further around and see what we find. We're just going to head to Str Strunyan Beach, it's like a 20 to 25 minute walk again. I really do appreciate a nice signposted trail, it puts your mind at ease, doesn't it? Yeah, the amount of like, walks we've done where it's not easy to follow and then you just stress the whole time off. And you get lost. Yeah. <laughs> Spend like an extra hour trying to find your way. So we made it to the beach. It looks like it's like a hotel resort beach. Swimming platforms out in the sea and a lifeguard and stuff. But I've seen some really bizarre signs saying you shouldn't swim underwater, which I don't really understand. Saying all of that though, it still does look really nice. But if you're looking for more of like a secluded experience, Moon Bay is definitely the one for you. Reluctantly booked a Flix bus from somewhere just south of here to Pula today because the rail network in Croatia just isn't very good or well, it's not very yeah. developed. So, and also, every train we've got in Slovenia so far has been at least half an hour delayed, and the last train we needed to get only had a nine minute um, change Tran in between. Transfer, yeah. yeah. And then, if we didn't make that, there was literally no other bus or train out of there. So. Yeah. We would have been stuck. It's cost us £28 between us, so quite a lot really, when you consider that we've already got an interrail pass, but sometimes you just need to suck it up. So we're just going to head back now and get our, our things from the Airbnb, so it seems like a good time to end the video. But we've had a nice couple of days here in Piran, we've chilled out and got refreshed. Mm -hmm. To then head on to Croatia a bit later today. So sad to be leaving Slovenia. Yeah, we're both sad to be leaving. We've had such a great time here. It's a bit of a shame, but we've never been to Croatia before either. Yeah, so it's a new country for us. So, but we've enjoyed it here, and we'll definitely come back at some point. So, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure.